Difference between distance and displacement. Let us understand the difference between distance and displacement with the help of an illustration. Here you can see an athlete running along a circular track of radius r in a clockwise direction. He starts from the point A and finishes at the same point. What is the distance covered by the athlete? The distance covered by the athlete is equal to the circumference of the track, which is 2 pi r. Is there any displacement or change in position when the athlete comes back to A? No, there is no change in the position of the athlete because the final and initial positions of the athlete are the same. That is, the displacement is equal to zero. Now let us calculate the distance covered and the displacement if the athlete stops at point B, which is diametrically opposite to the point A. The distance covered by him would be equal to half the circumference of the circle, and the displacement being the shortest distance between the initial and the final positions of the athlete is equal to the diameter of the circle. Thus, we can define the distance covered by a moving body as the actual length of the path covered by the moving body irrespective of the direction in which it moves. And displacement can be defined as the shortest distance between the initial position and the final position of the moving body. Displacement can also be defined as the distance covered in a particular direction.